Yep, it's your boy, Beautiful Nick. We here. This is the third time I'm recording this video. <laughs> Quick and simple. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. Get straight to the point. Number one, follow me, Beautiful X Nick, Twitch.tv. You know what I mean? Discord down below. It's that and third. I'm just get out of the way. S second thing, second. I have never seen the live action movie. So don't ask me about comparisons to those because I've never seen it. And I think I don't want to see it. I, I'm pretty sure I don't want to see the live action movie. I don't even know when it came out. Third things third. I am still relatively a, you know, new to the Avatar world. You know what I mean? I didn't grow up watching Avatar because I thought it was booty cheeks when I was a kid. And uh, I watched it for the first time literally last year as an adult. The whole series. Uh, both Avatar and uh core so you know what i mean i'm relatively new to the avatar world so don't get on to me like y'all did the last time bro okay you know what i mean i understand people y'all you know people don't like when they talk about your favorite cartoons look i'm gonna still say what i want to say don't say that you know what i mean like it is what it is y'all ain't punk me or nothing i'm just saying i'm just keeping it the butt like you know what i mean like i'm still relatively new so you can take what i say i guess with a grain of salt but i'm still gonna give you the best because i still like animation and cartoons and movies and all that stuff so it is what it is now i know everybody and their mother has already did a either reaction or uh talked about avatar but they're not me so you know what i mean it ain't legit for real you know what i'm saying no i'm just kidding but like you know it, it, it ain't me though so you know what i mean like i gotta give y'all my full not my full breakdown because i did this like literally twice already and this first time i did it it was like 43 minutes so i was yapping so i was you know what i mean it is what it is so we're just gonna try to keep it nice and simple I thought it was good. I don't know how everybody else's opinion is about the show. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I thought it was good. Was there certain things that could have been worked on? Yes. Um, is it the one of one to the cartoon? No. Um, I'm gonna say this. Honestly, I'm still going to recommend the cartoon over the live action because you know, that's, I'm guessing that's really the original source material to this in particular, but if you are relatively new to avatar or you know you never seen avatar yet i'm gonna be honest with you if you don't want to watch the cartoons in this three seasons by the way for the original and then i think it's two seasons for core but they're like 40 episodes in each season in core and like 20 episodes in each season so like that's 60 episodes if you ain't trying to do that like one piece you know what i mean i'm gonna be honest i think the live action does a great enough job to really like how do i say I think it gets the general gist of the entirety of the first season. They changed a couple things. So a lot of things ain't gonna make sense, especially if you go back and watch the cartoons, it's not gonna make sense necessarily. Cause you know, they do this thing where I, I had the same gripe about uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. They kind of mangle together a bunch of different episodes together in the middle of the uh, episode. Episode is eight episodes, by the way. I'm letting y'all know they're like 40. 45 to like an hour each so like you know they're def definitely you know you know fairly length but they kind of do mingle and mangle and jangle a lot of like the episodes in in cram like literally the first season and eight episodes so you know what i mean like if you want to get the actual full co coherent season or or ep uh, like the whole coherent season of avatar I would just suggest to watch the anime but if you don't care to do all that then i'm gonna be honest with you i wouldn't mind recommending this uh avatar i'm gonna be honest with you. now i will say i will say there is some things wrong with it but i mean it's a live action so you can't get everything perfect but for the most part i feel like it's really still a solid show to watch for netflix and i gotta say netflix they on to something, in my opinion. I don't know. I, like I said, I have not seen anybody else's review. Uh, I don't know how everybody else is feeling. This is literally my initial reaction uh, to it. Well, not well, not my initial because I done I already filmed it like twice. But this is my somewhat. I you know I'm now a day and a half removed from watching the show, so this is just my thought, my initial. I guess initial thoughts. I guess I was right the first time. But yeah. Uh, I think I enjoyed it. I liked it. I think it. I think they get it. Did a good enough job. The characters, for the most part, were great. The set design, amazing. Chef's kiss. Um, the VFX also, I think, were very good. 
the choreography was amazing now i will say like for back to the vfx part there was a couple there was like maybe two janky scenes but for overall like i think they did a great job the scenery like i said umashu was looking amazing bro the northern uh, uh water temple was looking amazing hell the, even the ships even the 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 air temples were all amazing like bro the scenery was amazing the fee effects were amazing i'm gonna be honest appa and momo looked pretty good i'm not even gonna lie to you but that all being said i have to bring up honestly the meat in the crux of it where i feel like he had a little you know it had a little problem i think overall um at first i said i enjoyed it because uh i think they did a good enough job to convey the all the season the whole first season into one but i will say and i do not like when i do not like when especially when it's now been appearing for live actions which i understand why they have to do it because you know you want to make sure the audience you know if you're going to do these type of live actions and you want to adapt it from the original source material you got to find a way to be able to do it where it's not over the top i guess but also it's not you know time consuming because if they was going to do one-to-one -one, then it would be just literally the same thing but just live action and let's be honest they probably would do not have a budget for that and it would have nobody trying to watch a live action episode of 22 episodes of avatar i'm gonna just be honest with you i'm not you know what i mean you get what you get with that you know what i'm saying i feel like a lot of people be a little bit too harsh when it comes to that and it you know what i mean in time when it's acceptable it's time when i don't like when i don't like when they do it but if they do it in a good enough job i feel like then you gotta you know give it a pass like yu yu haka show for example is not how you do it you know what i mean like you don't do it i feel like one piece is a great example of how you did it you you get a general gist of the over of the of where they're going you know what i'm saying so if you are interested in in and wanted to get extra lore and all that stuff then it, it leaves you room to actually go watch the cartoon itself you know what i mean if that's what you want to do don't watch you haka show live action there's a reason why i didn't do a video on it it was booty it was bad it was horrible and we're gonna not talk about it back to avatar the overarching plot of the first season is literally the end of the first or, or the, of the northern lights part two i think overall they did a good job was there some inconsistencies there yes because i feel like from i'll say episode three or not even episode three i think from since every i think it was episode three i could be wrong but episode four from basically the omashu arc i guess and everything that was around that they kind of just mingled and mangled a lot of it and i think they and like i said I, I i gotta give them credit like for the most part it's not really confusing um if you never watched a cartoon if you watch the cartoon and it's like a little bit of like eh, i don't know if i would you know certain you know what i mean like eh. I don't know if I would do that, but if you never watched a cartoon, you probably, I feel like you're never going to really, you're not going to notice anything because you don't even really know what's going on, right? Uh, but if you have watched a cartoon, it does feel a little bit out of place. I feel like they put certain episodes together where it was like, I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, like, you will leave out certain details of certain episodes uh, in the sake to move the plot on. It's like, I don't know i'm just i i was i was mixed i was mixed on that part you know what i mean especially when it came to like you know certain character arcs or you know caricature i, I guess build-ups i guess uh like boomy or uh jay or uh you know even azul i'm gonna okay i'm gonna be honest with y'all i have to say this bro uh i think they showed way too much azula in this season i'm gonna be honest with you um i'm pretty sure azula doesn't really have an impact until season two uh and i know she's shown a little bit in the first season but like i feel like they i feel like just like how people were kind of mad at the one piece live action for them showing garp a little bit too much i think they i think the same thing is going on here they showed us azula a little bit too much and they skipped literally a lot of stuff to really build her character because like in the in the original cartoon you know she's more of you know let's be honest she's crazy like she, she she crazy bit you know what i mean she crazy bit and you know and but she got a lot of character development that goes along with it i feel like with this is like they kind of like introduced her a little bit too early and they show like sprinkles of her 
throughout the the show of her like doing her things where there were like full whole episodes that kind of I feel like were important to her character to build up for season two. Uh, but you know, look, I'm not a writer, so I can't really tell you how you're supposed to write your stuff. You know, what I mean, that's just a little you know thing that I had. But other than that, I feel like all the other characters were solid and decent at most. Unk, I'm gonna be honest with you, still the best character. It doesn't matter if he's live action. It doesn't matter if he is animated. It don't matter if he is stop motion, 3D. It don't matter. Unk is for some reason, he is just synonymous with this being a GOAT character. And you just can't do him wrong. The guy who played as Unk, give him a Grammy or an Oscar. I don't know which one ever, whichever the award it is. I don't know. I never, I always get them confused. Unk, he did a good job, bro. Unk did a great job. Zuko, I like Zuko's character. Uh, the actor who played Zuko, uh, he did a pretty good job. All I gotta say is that that wig, my boy, that sh that it was crazy. I'm gonna be honest with you. And, and y'all saying wig? I mean, they gave him a ball cap. <sighs> Not gonna lie, that man Zuko head was too big. I'm gonna be honest with you. Look, look, look. I'm a Zuko. I love Zuko too. But that man's forehead was absolutely crazy. 6D. I'm not gonna lie to you. And speaking of foreheads, Aang, we gotta talk about Aang, bro. I'm gonna be honest, Aang was a good character. Aang was a solid, like the, the actor who played Aang, I think he did a good job. Uh, it was kind of giving me like Jaden Smith, Zendaya. You know, it was giving Zendaya Jaden Smith. I don't know. She He had like Zendaya mannerisms. Y'all know when Zendaya do the little, you know, she do the little, you know, chipmunk thing when she be talking about like, you know, like a cartoon like that type. He was kind of doing the same thing. I don't know. This is a little pet peeve of mine. Look, I, I, look, I, I ain't get on to him. You know what I'm saying? Overall, he did a good job. Soka, uh, Katara, they were cool. They was all right. I think they did a very great job of, you know, really showing the diversity of each group instead of just making, like, you know, like they did. I think they did a good job on that. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they did the Air Temple people correct. You know what I mean? I think the people, the city of Omashu, uh, they did great. The Fire Lords, everybody, representation. Y'all yeah, know, bro. It, it is, you know, I mean, it, I think they did a solid job on that. Uh, even the Northern Water Tribe, I think they did an all solid job. Um, like I said, Zuko, I mean, no, uh, like I said, Katara, I liked her character a lot. Uh, the, the the actress, she did, she did her, she did her dang, she did, she did, she did her thing. It's definitely, it's def definitely when she was going against uh, Master Paku. And y'all know Master Paku was on some some other stuff. You know what I mean? He was, I ain't even gonna, y'all know. He was on some, if you know. Uh, speaking of Paku, yeah, the Northern Water Tribe, they all did it great. I think they kind of like rushed the the ending a little bit. Uh, Cause there, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they definitely skipped like two episodes, especially the interaction that uh ang had with uh zuko during that time now and, and i remember and i talked about this in my last video that y'all will never see because you know the file got corrupted and the, and the audio was horrible but if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure zuko and ang had an a whole fight before uh before or after uh you know them you know before ang turned into like a sea beast or whatever uh i'm pretty sure they had a whole little thing with that i'm not, i'm not mistaken i could be misremembering it could be season two but i'm pretty sure they did have like a whole fight or something before that i could be wrong though um but either way i think the ending they kind of like they kind of i don't know they kind of I feel like I feel like the ending was okay. I think they kind of like rushed a little certain things uh, because I feel like they was just trying to get through the first season. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I they did it. It was okay. It was passable. Um, but I think they should have just maybe did like nine or ten episodes instead of eight, and to really flush out that last part because I feel like they it just went from them getting to the Northern Water Tribe with him not even knowing anything at all him meeting all the and that's another thing too because i just remembered like this this man was out here meeting all the uh past avatars like literally in every episode this is like bro like what are we doing what are we what are we doing here bro what, what like bro bro like you know what i'm saying like what are we do and especially he when he met the uh fire avatar uh i forgot his name it wasn't sozin i think it, I, it was the uh the other guy i don't know and or it might have been sozin i could i don't really remember the 
the avatar that was in the fire but y'all know the episode where an av uh, av uh, Aang and the gang go to the fire temple to talk to the avatar the first avatar and you know they have that whole little uh fight and you know he was boxing basically and they and then you know he learned about sozin's comment and all that other stuff yeah that doesn't happen in this one he basically goes to the he basically goes to the fire temple uh holds the random dude and they all just end up getting knocked out we don't know why you know in the in the in the, in the, in the anime or cartoon my bad whatever it's the same thing uh they you know there's a whole dialogue thing there they just didn't they just skipped over that and you know he just talked to the fire lord and that was like literally five six episodes they just you know skipped all the other stuff that was important in there so it is but i mean i guess because they was running out on time i don't know that that's just the thing mind you at the same time they are li my ah, i forgot to put spoilers bro look if you watch it you already know this whole video gonna be spoilers anyway but mind you at the same time katara and soka are also their souls is lost with the nameless face creature whatever and um i'm gonna be honest uh, it was kind of confusing because it's like i'm pretty sure the sozans the them attacking the them going to the air base was in season two and they are mixing the season one episode which wasn't really that crazy because they got out but it's like they weren't captured i think only ang was captured at the time i don't really fully remember i just watched this last year which is crazy but you know what i mean um but yeah it was kind of kind of like crazy uh there was questionable things now i do want to talk about boomy uh i gotta be honest i loved omashu and the fact that they introduced jet uh during omashu was kind of it didn't make sense but i guess if you never watched the cartoon i guess it makes sense uh it, it you know it it, it it don't seem like it's out of place out of place necessarily but i will gotta say i think they did my boy boomy dirty i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know how everybody else is feeling but i'm gonna be honest with you i love boomy 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 metro boomy make it boom you know what i mean boomy was he unironically was the goat before you know what i mean before i actually really fell in love with unk i really i really messed with boomy and i think that they did his character a little bit I don't know. I feel like the overarching tone was a little too serious because I understand Avatar is a serious, but yet it's still a cartoon. So I feel like the cartoon a aspect, which, you know, they didn't go overly cartoon with it because, you know, obviously, you know, when you do adaptations, you don't want to go overly cartoon. Like, you know, that's why everybody like One Piece live action because they didn't go overly cartoon. They did it just balance. I feel like for this, though, it's like, Aang really didn't feel as childish as he should have been and Boomy definitely was not childish as he should have been I feel like Boomy was a little they actually made him feel like a villain a little bit and I kind of liked it at first but then I had to really think about it like well that kind of takes away the charm from Boomy overall because like Boomy would Boomy felt a little too serious I'm gonna be honest with you he felt a little too serious like I really felt like he was actually trying to really kill Aang instead of trying to teach Aang a lesson like he did in in the in the comic or in the cartoon whatever y'all know what i mean y'all know what i'm saying when i say that bro but yeah i feel like i feel like boomy actually had beef with ang honestly in 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 the cartoon it wasn't really like that he was just more so teaching him a lesson but in this in the live action i feel like they kind of made a lot of the characters a little too serious at times and not cartoony enough if that makes any sense so yeah i feel like i had a i had a grab about about that the only i feel like the only one characters that they actually did good with i feel like were ozai and iro unironically i think both the actor who played ozai and uh, obviously iro aka unk uh i think they killed it as far as like being completely like they're a one-to-one -to, -one to their actual characters everybody else was either like a little too serious or they were just a little you know you know they weren't they weren't really there you know what i'm saying like you know what i mean this is a smart small minor gripe of mine though personally but you know what i mean overall it was just like you know i feel like they still did an overarching good job i think that was just a little small gripe of mine but yeah other than that i really had no other problems with it i think i think i think netflix i think netflix i think netflix did a good job on this overall you know what i mean there's some improvements that they can do in season two that i feel like uh 
you know they can improve upon uh i definitely would like a season two for this i definitely would like a season two for this since they definitely spoiler alert hint at sozin's comment i'm kind of i'm kind of interested what they're going to do with that um you know what i mean i'm gonna imagine there's gonna be a lot more uh you know azula and that whole aspect and everything um but yeah i think i think overall i think they did a, a decent job on this uh adaptation um would i recommend watching this yeah honestly i would i think for the most part i wouldn't recommend this like i said i don't know how everybody else is going to feel about this the actual true avatar heads or whatever i'm just telling y'all how i feel especially what uh, for a live action adaptation i think this is very solid compared to like you know like i say affirmation shows like yu yu hawk show or full metal alchemist or any of these other live actions that they do death note you know what i mean especially for netflix they definitely were they definitely dropped the ball a lot you know what i'm saying but i feel like one piece if one piece was the starter i think this was overall arcing very very good like 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 i said it was this is this was i would say it's slightly better than the one piece live action i feel like this was slightly better than the one piece action live action um am i trying to see any more live action adaptations in the future absolutely not unless if y'all gonna start doing i've and, it, and i've i said this in my last video and i'll say it again i'll say it again y'all if y'all want to do adaptations of cartoons or anime or whatever y'all gotta start small and then lead up to the you know I me mean, to the bigger things you know what i'm saying i understand that a lot of series are popular uh like dragon ball z and naruto and all that stuff like y'all want to do that but let's be honest first of all nobody asked for any of those because I, I heard that there's a, supposed to be a naruto live action too i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not putting my expectations uh, i mean to be fair i didn't have high expectations for this anyway to to begin with the same thing with the one piece thing and i think us as fans i think or people who enjoy this i feel like it is always better just to have our expectations lowered so that we can really appreciate the fact that you know what these ain't really as bad as we think they are you know what i mean a lot of people be a lot of hypercritical nowadays we all you know you know this is day age of uh social media and stuff everybody got an opinion everybody think that they they know everything you know what i mean we all know bro you know people don't really enjoy shows anymore you know what i mean you can't now you know what i mean because everybody's for some reason a film critic now so you know what i mean like everybody knows everything now you know what i mean or they just take their opinion from their favorite creator and run with that without even having to even deal with the product i don't know maybe maybe i'm just ranting at this point now i'm yapping again but look i feel like i feel like at the end of the day you do what you want to do you want to watch it, you don't uh i think it was pretty solid like i said i don't think we need any more adaptations of live at or adaptation live adaptations of any type of show anymore unless if it's going to be something like i don't know something that'll require a lot of vfx and uh cgi work i feel like we need to start going for more shows that don't have these limitations you know what i mean like you know what i'm saying like not saying that they can't do it because obviously i'm gonna be honest with the avatar one they can but avatar and bending i feel like it's still kind of not as crazy as like you know goku shooting you know kamehameha or spirit gun and or and like you know like all that type of you know stuff or naruto throwing rasen guns and shidori's with sasuke and all the curse mark and all that i think those are way more complicated than turning ang and glowing making his head glow which i will say i feel like the cg model that they used when he went to the avatar state uh looked a little funky i'm not gonna lie to you because at once i'm gonna be honest I, this is a little nitpicky uh one scene they had him when he first goes into the avatar state like when they panned in on his face for some reason he looked way older than what he actually did and then it's like to one point i'm gonna be honest with you i'm i don't know if it was just me and i just see seeing stuff but he kind of looked like will smith a little bit i ain't gonna lie to you maybe that's why i keep on comparing him to Jaden. type you know what i mean like i don't know but but he kind of looked like will smith with uh when he was uh you know with uh with the genie stuff like i'm gonna be honest with you uh i don't know I, they gotta fix they gotta fix the avatar state because i know uh the avatar state is definitely gonna be more prominent in season two season three if they end up doing a season two or season three for this uh they gotta fix I, something about glowing eyes and we have not reached a point yet where we can get glowing eyes looking legit you know what i'm saying like 
we still working on it because i'm gonna be honest the glowing eyes part especially for ang it was still a little bit wonky like the tracking wasn't really you know you know and this is i don't know how big this budget was but i'm gonna be honest with you if i can notice it who you going who else you, you you everybody else gonna notice it i feel like the tracking in the eyes was a little still a little bit janky i ain't gonna lie to you uh and the glowing and it stuff it is just, it is what it is but yeah overall though i still that's just not like i we're getting to the point now where like this the live action adaptation i will say we're getting to the point now now we can start saying overall it's still good and we can start nitpicking these shows a little bit more i think that's a good state in saying that we're getting somewhere with the live actions i will say that like if i had any positive things to say about live actions i will say we're actually getting to the point where we are actually able to start nitpicking a little bit of the stuff and i think that's a good thing overall it's a good thing that means they're actually starting to get it right so uh yeah let's give them a hand for that so yeah like i said i enjoyed it but yet again i i guess i'm known for liking trash stuff i don't know i other people might not like it who knows i'm just telling y'all how i feel about it i enjoyed it for the most part i think it was pretty good I am notorious for liking stuff that everybody else hates. So, you know, who who knows? I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe, maybe I'm not the right person to tell y'all if it was good or not. But who knows? Well, I mean, to be fair, a lot of y'all get y'all opinions from Twitter and uh, from other people anyway. So, you know, who it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, it's your boy, Beautiful Nick, Avatar Review. And uh, I'm going to start doing more videos like this. Just, yeah, I've been watching a lot of films and stuff lately. And I feel like, you know, I feel like they happen. I, I'm a yapper, bro. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Professional yap. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do all that, bro. So, yeah. I hope y'all enjoy. Love y'all. Let me know if y'all want more of these. Uh, I might start doing some more reviews. Uh, actually, I am going to do some more reviews. So, let me know if uh, what, what y'all want me to review and stuff like that. Or talk about cartoons and stuff. Because I got uh, other videos that I got to talk about. And, uh, yeah. This is all top of the head, by the way. So, you know. I do these on top of the no script. All right. See y'all later. Love y'all. Out of the bit. Come on.